Okay, so when I lived in Florida, I'd made a little video on the solar stuff we had powering the uh, little shop we had there in Oklahoma, and uh, made a video about the solar output on a cloudy day. So anyway, we moved back to North Carolina, and uh, I'm back at my big shop here, and um, we. Uh, had this big steel landing pad out of here we used to use for testing a helicopter on that we're not using so I decided that'd be the perfect uh, platform to put a solar s uh, panel set up on so we've got four now of the uh, 100 watt harbor freight panels which I'm here to say I'm highly impressed with and then the other two uh, energy panels and um, We've got the uh, panels all wired in series and going to the uh, little terminal block here and then feeding into the shop. And we've updated our, our uh, battery bank. We're now running five. We just got the fifth battery the other day, but we're running five of the uh, big heavy batteries like you saw in the last video. We've still got our uh, 3000 watt inverter and we got the uh, MPPT controller and right there you can see we're putting out 94.4 volts and uh, still got 12.56 volts which I'm really pleased with because it's now uh, just a little bit after 3, 3 p.m. And I've been running the whole shop, all these lights, the TV set with the tablet, and that big fan in the back there, all on the uh, solar panel power here. So, uh, that's uh, fantastic. Like I say, you can see we're uh, at 93 volts right now. Uh, peak voltage the panels are putting out. We've seen as much as 117 volts coming in off the uh, panels. So, yeah, we're we're pretty happy with that. Um, to show you that we're totally running off solar power. There's the power that comes into the shop, and as you can see, the quick disconnect is out of it. There's there's the quick dis disconnect. So. Everything is being backfed with the cord right here into the outlet. And we are literally powering the whole shop now. You can just hear the cooling fan just kicked in on the uh, inverter. But um, yeah, we're, we're powering the whole shop right now off that uh, 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. And the uh, six panels outside so that makes me pretty happy um, I would give you a shot of the batteries I don't know if I can get a shot of the batteries down here or not yeah there's the type batteries we're running so yeah we got five of those batteries down there now so, uh, and they're all wired in parallel. So, yeah, pretty pretty happy. We actually finally installed a uh, breaker from the pan from the panels coming in. So we actually have a circuit breaker in there now. Cause I'm still learning about this stuff, but uh, yeah, I think we got it working out pretty good. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a tornado come through Greensboro and our power was knocked out for two days and uh, even with just the four batteries we were able to run the uh, refrigerator and all, all night long so we didn't lose our food we had the TV hooked up with over ante air antenna and had us a, a fan blowing on us so consider it and we also had a, uh, a tabletop ice maker that we have and uh, had all those things running at the same time off the 3000 watt inverter. So it's, it's 
it's paid for itself. I mean, we didn't lose all our groceries. You know, so, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's paid for itself because it's an expensive system, but the fact that we're able to actually power up a whole shop here and, uh, and I'm not talking about just low output stuff also. I mean, right here is a, a big lathe milling machine set up. And as you can see, it's, it's even powering the, uh, the lathe and milling machine. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. In fact, for the first time, we actually was able to pump up the air compressor. We actually got enough amperage now and battery power that we actually used the uh, pumped up the air compressor. So, need to say I'm pretty happy. Anytime I can run all my equipment off of solar power, that's free energy. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much uh, money we save on the power bill now that I'm running the whole shop off of solar. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll keep you updated.